Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're back. Hallelujah. Amen. We're back on your way to, to talk about what the Lord wants us all to share today. Mm. In glory to God. Amen. For the past few weeks now, we've been looking at the book of Revelation. And we've been looking at the seven churches specifically in the book of Revelation, which is in uh, chapter 1 and ch chapter 2 mm. in mm. Revelation. Mm. And we've seen the first church the church at ephesus we've seen smyrna we've seen the pergamos church and today we're going to be look at um the church in Tyatara. hallelujah Tyatara church mm -hmm. and uh we want to see what the lord said to the church in Tyatara. so the purpose of these seven churches was because the lord god was giving a message mm -hmm. to john to give to the different to these different churches and as we look at these churches i want us to begin to visualize our church visualize the churches that we've seen we visualize the people of god and how we are working our works our deeds and how we act and everything and see where we are Amen. hallelujah Amen. because at the end of the day the lord god wants us to repent if we've not been doing well, he wants us to repent. And if we've been doing well, he has commend us, even in the message. He has given us commendation. And with that, we will have to rejoice and praise him for, for his commendation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So um, today, as we continue in the message to Tayatara, Tayatara was is known as a as a corrupt church. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, just to, just to interject a little bit okay. there. Like, um, we have to, to be careful how we are labeling because mm. when you look in the scriptures, uh, in, in the, the tr different translations, mm -hmm. because some of the, um, the, the, the biblical tr translations have had input in terms of how to, to guide and direct God's people in learning. Mm. Okay? So. We're not saying that that's not a good thing, mm. but we still have the responsibility to ensure that whatever we are, be, we are being given by way of information, you know, uh, is in, in a, it, it, is, it is acceptable mm. in the light of the doctrine of Christ. Mm -hmm. okay? The Lord Jesus Christ in the scriptures, when he's sending those messages mm. uh, via John to those churches, is not laying out a condemnation mm. is naming exactly what he's not pleased with mm. Mm. with the people and is explaining in more details mm. he has not labeled any church as a corrupt church mm -hmm. any church as a a, 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 a local church mm. we have come up with these terms ourselves mm. but we need to be careful how we label things yeah we must only say what the lord is saying hallelujah yeah not what anybody else is saying mm. yeah. So in that scripture, the Lord does not say, I call you out as a corrupt church. A corrupt church. Mm. No, mm. It, it does not say that. Yeah. Mm. But it is, nonetheless, we can understand why um, somebody would use that. Mm. But that would be a wrong label per se, to, to just use that as yeah. a blanket label that the Thyatira church was a corrupt church because mm. it was not a corrupt church. Mm. We'll see later what the report the Lord Jesus Christ gives. Mm. you know how it uh, addresses the issues uh, at hand yeah amen amen so. yeah. glory to god mm. so there were there are some good things about the church as well in Tyre Terra. so mm. we're not going to label it as the corrupt church yeah. because not all of them were corrupt there were things that the lord jesus christ was addressing in Tyre Terra. Mm. hallelujah amen. and we're going to um read from um revelation 2 starting from 18 to 29. Mm -hmm. Apparently, this message to Thyatira happened to be the longest mm -hmm. among all the messages. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, you see that the other ones were like three, five to six verses, seven verses, mm -hmm. but this is much more lo longer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see why, because it's all written therein. And uh, um, let's not forget that the book of Revelation was given to the mess. The book of Revelation is a part of the Lord Jesus Christ that God 
wants him to reveal to the church. Mm. So he gave that part to him for him to give to John. Mm. So John gave it, uh, the Lord Jesus gave that part of him, that revelation that he, the Lord God asked him to give to John. So he gave it to John for John to give to the church. And in Revelation, he said to us that he blessed a day that read it loud. Mm -hmm. Bless a day that we hear it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So just by you coming in contact with this, or reading the book of Revelation, or happen to go through these seven churches with us, the Lord God says you are blessed. And mm -hmm. there's a reason for it. Because there are things mm -hmm. that he has outlined there that can tell us, about the things that the Lord God likes mm. and the things that he dislikes. Mm. And it will help us to shape in us as believers to live the life that pleases the Lord. Amen. So they said, blessed are them mm. that hear it. Mm. Blessed are them that hear it, that, that say it out loud. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And uh, <clears throat> uh, you, you remember in, in, in Acts of Apostles, mm. Lydia, yeah. Lydia is mm. from Thyatira. Mm. Lydia, the, the popular Lydia in, in, in uh, Art of Apostles, mm. is from Thyatira. Hallelujah. Mm. And all that we know about Lydia was amazing things that he did mm. for the apostles. When the Lord God revealed to Apostle Paul in a dream, he wanted to go to Asia, but the Lord forbid them from going to Asia. He wanted to go to another city, the Holy Spirit forbade them. And the Lord showed him a vision and he said, go to Macedonia. Mm. The man calling on him, he said, come over to Macedonia and help us. And that was where they met Lydia. And Lydia actually helped the, mm. the, 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 the brethren, helped Paul and, and those that were with him, Paul and Silas. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, Apostle Joseph, read for Amen. us Amen. Revelation 2, starting from 18 to 29. Okay, right. The scripture reads, uh, chapter 2 of the book of Revelation, from, chapter, from verse 18. To the angel of the church in Thyatira, which is pronounced as Thyatira is different, you know, people, different people tend to pronounce it differently, you know, but um, the spelling is T-H-Y-A-T-I-R-A, -A, that's the English version of it. Mm. Okay. To the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, these are the words of the Son of God whose eyes are like blazing fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet, by her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Tyatira, to you who do not hold to her teaching and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secret, I will not impose any other burden on you except to hold on to what you have until I come. 26. To the one who is victorious and does, and does my will, to the end, I will give authority over the nations. That one will rule them with an iron scepter and will dash them to pieces like pottery. Just as I have received authority from my father, I will also give that one the morning star. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen. Amen. Let us just pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for it's your word that giveth life. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you read upon your word, O oh God, that every ears that will hear, that every eyes that will see your word and will read it, O oh God, that you will help their eyes of their understanding 
to be a light in your God. That you open their eyes and their minds, oh God, that your word will sink into their hearts. That the purpose, oh God, of this message to the churches, oh God, yes, Lord, it will be accomplished in the life of your people, oh God. That we will not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We're just going to follow, like, you know, um, go through it. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, so to the angel uh, of the church in Tyre, Tyre, write. And he says, These things are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire. See, the introduction or mm. the, the way the Lord God decide to identify himself mm -hmm. in each time he introduced the message to the church that is writing to is so so important mm -hmm. it tells us the detail of what he's trying to say to them mm -hmm. this he said he said these are the words of the son of god it's not anyone's else's word mm -hmm. it's not the word of the devil it's not the word of the enemy it's mm -hmm. the word of the son of god the one who made us, the mm -hmm. one who has called us, the one who loved us, the one who calls us sons and friend. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, whose eyes are like blazing fire wow. and his feet like bronze, a, a burnished bronze. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He is a friend, but his eyes are like bra like, like, like uh, uh, browsing fire. That's his eyes sees, he sees deep into us. Mm -hmm. He sees deep into our heart. He sees deep into our thought and our intent. Mm -hmm. And that eyes will bring judgment. It will bring judgment because what he sees in us depends, either good or bad, mm -hmm. it will bring judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, I know your work, I know your deeds. Your love and your faith, your perseverance. You see, the, the Lord God, in, in, in each time he has he's spoken to all these churches, he always says to them, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And that is so comforting for me. It's so comforting to me, knowing that the Lord God actually you know, we know that the Lord knows, obviously, Amen. but the fact that he keeps repeating it, each time he wants to address each church, he keeps saying that, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that, I know what you do, I know what you see, I know what, uh, how you're living, I know where you're living, I know your condition, I know your circumstances, I know all that. But this time he's saying to the church in Tyatara, that I know your deeds. Hallelujah. Amen. said, I know your deeds. I know your love, your service, your faith, your patience. I know your perseverance. I know. So the love is in the heart and it comes out. That love that, that is in there, those deeds of giving a cup of water to, to a brother or a sister, those deeds of, of standing with them in faith, praying together. I know your deeds. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So the church in Titara, like Apostle Joseph was saying, we cannot just label the church straight away that it is a corrupt church. Because you can see that the Lord at the start is actually commending them. He said, I know your deeds. I know your deeds. Jesus commend the church for his service, for his perseverance, for demonstrating love, love to one another, demonstrating love. And these deeds are not just like, uh, uh, because some of us have limited the deeds that we do to just the men of God, the people we call the men of God, the pastors, the leaders, our leaders in church. 
Those are not just the deeds he's talking about. The deeds that you do to every child of God, your fellow believer. Because he actually admonishes us to do good to all men. But he said, especially mm. to them which are of the household oh, of faith. Mm. So the deeds which are of the household of faith, I know that helping hand, that helping hand that you extend to another brother, to the saints, meeting to the saints' needs. Mm. Your brother has not eaten, giving them a cup of water, a cup of rice, bottle of oil. I know your deeds. And it says, what you are doing now is much more better than what you did before. So what the, the church, the people are doing at that time, is it's even much better. So they've even got better. They've improved in their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. They've improved in their love for one another. They've improved. And the church is actually, if we look at, if we think about the church, uh, it, it would be a flourishing church. Just imagine if you were in, in, in a church like that, that the Lord Jesus is commanding that he knows their deed, their patience, their perseverance, their labor of love, their faith. It would be a flourishing church, a strong congregation if we, we, if we imagine it. But that is not all that there is. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, so it's, it's, my boy is quite remarkable is the fact that they, they did not stop are doing well mm -hmm. they carried on doing well and the lord jesus christ noted that he said that you are doing more mm. of all good things mm. i've remarked about mm. you the report i have of you mm. of doing so well you carry on doing well mm. and you're increasing Amen. in the well doing Amen. and then he says that's not all by mm. the way mm -hmm. so nevertheless yeah saying that i wish I've stopped here of my report. Mm, yeah. That is the, the conclusion. Mm. But that's not the case because I have something against you. Mm. This is what I've seen happening amongst you. That you tolerate that woman, Jezebel, mm. who calls herself a prophet. Mm -hmm. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality mm. and eating of food sacrificed to idols. Mm. Okay. Before we get to the, 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 the verse 21 mm. and downwards, this is quite interesting. It's quite a lot the Lord Jesus Christ is saying here that we can unpack. Mm. It says that they are tolerating. Mm. That means they're not. They're compromising, allowing the Jezebelic spirit mm. to have its way in the assembly, mm. in the gathering of people, mm. while they are showing the love, mm -hmm. while they are being patient, patient or perseverant, while they are uh, they are being faith, uh, faithful and uh, and demonstrating the works of God, they are also simultaneously allowing a different spirit to thrive amongst them. Mm -hmm. In this case, the Lord is making reference to the Jezebelic spirit. So the person, the, the, the person or the believer that's supposed to have been a believer, mm -hmm. who was claiming to be a prophet or a prophetess, but yet her way of doing things, the drive mm -hmm. that she had in performing in terms of character, mm. in terms of what was important to her, in terms of uh, the way she related to, to others, mm. yeah, was driven by the spirit of Jezebel. Mm -hmm. This is very striking yeah. because of what we know about Jezebel. Mm. Yeah. The story of Jezebel is that Jezebel was, my, was, was Ahab's wife. Ahab was a king of Israel. Mm. Okay. 
And the Bible tells us quite evidently as to what Jezebel did and what she stood for. Mm. Okay. If we look at the scripture in the book of First King, chapter sixteen, mm. chapter sixteen, verse thirty, from verse thirty-one. This is the introduction of Jezebel into into the into the into the picture. Chapter 16, yeah. verse 31. 31. Yeah. Okay. King 16, starting from 31. He not only considered his trivia mm -hmm. to commit sin of Jeroboam, mm -hmm. son of Nabal, mm -hmm. but he also married Jezebel's daughter of Netaba, king of the Sardians and began to serve Baal wow. and, and worship, worship him. him. So this is Ahab. Okay. So the Lord had told the Israelites not to marry mm. foreign women, yeah. especially from the nations that he had drove out of Israel, out of Canaan before Israel possessed Canaan by setting foot in, 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 the, in the land, mm -hmm. it was still called Canaan. Mm -hmm. After they had possessed it, they changed the name of it to, to Israel. Mm -hmm. okay. So the Lord had told them not to, to mingle, yep. not to marry, not to ad ad adopt any of their, their culture, any of their norms, but to drive them out completely. But they don't drive all of them. Okay. But this goes back to, to Solomon even. Because Solomon was the second king that the Lord had, uh, not the second king, was the third king. The second king was, uh, was, was David. It was uh, Saul, then David took over. Yeah. The Lord had given the mantle kingship to David permanently. And only, only his descendants were to, be, to become king. When Solomon went into the very thing that the Lord had forbidden, had forbade, had, uh, forbidden them to do, which was to, to marry foreign women, and he did. And he had 700 wives and 300 concubines. The majority of those who were the Israelites were from yeah. the surrounding uh, nations that had uh, uh, that, that were involved in in, in the worship of idols. idols. Okay, so we need to make one thing clear as mm. well here that the idols that we come across, those pagan gods mm. that the scriptures as uh, as got account of, because the Lord was revealing to us mm. exactly what had happened before, and um, to know for us to know. Um, the, 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 to have an understanding of the spiritual reality from his point of view. These idols are demons. That's yeah. what they are. Yeah, yeah. They are demons. Mm -hmm. They are still around today. They have mm -hmm. not died. No. Because the Lord has set a time when he's going to deal with Satan and all and the entire kingdom of darkness mm -hmm. and everything that is contrary to the will of God. Mm -hmm. They are still around. The Baal, the Ashrat, the Chemosh, the, the they are demons. These are names of demons. Mm -hmm. You see, a demon will not come to you, or Satan will come to you and say, Guess what? I'm Satan, I kill people, mm -hmm. I destroy, I steal. It won't say that to you because he will fail his mission. Mm -hmm. He will camouflage himself. It will take a different image, a different perception, so that you won't, you won't be able to identify him. Mm. And it's only by the Spirit of God you are able to tell the difference. And that's why John says to us to test all spirits. Spirit. Because if they have a, a, a pretense, mm. they may be a wolf. But they will come to you dressed in sheep's clothing right. so that you would know that there's a hoof underneath. underneath. Yeah. And when you trust them, then they devour you. Yeah. That's how the devil works. Mm. So these idols, they had all these names. They were essentially demons. Yeah. So we're learning about Ahab now. Ahab will introduce Jezebel. He married a Sidonian woman. Jezebel worshipped two deities. Mm. He, she worshipped Baal and Ashrat. What was, uh, uh, when you read in the book of Kings, uh, you, 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 the first Kings, second Kings, you, you find out quite a lot about the worship of Baal that was involved, that uh, um, she was involved in. Yeah? And we know the story of Elijah when he challenged the prophet of Baal and the prophet of Ashrat. There were only 50 prophets of Baal 
and 400 of the ashram that he challenged. So 850 people <laughs> against one person. This is what the Lord is asking us to do, his people. Mm -hmm. We need to challenge because we, you can't, light and darkness cannot mm -hmm. mingle. They cannot mm -hmm. exist in the same mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord Jesus is saying. Mm -hmm. One thing I have against you is that you've allowed a different spirit mm -hmm. to thrive amongst you. Yeah. It is darkness. You are the children of light. You should not give space to darkness. You don't give space to demons mm -hmm. to have a nice time next mm -hmm. to you. No. They should be uncomfortable. Yes. You should kick them out. Don't apologize. Mm -hmm. Now this person is a leader. They say they are a prophet. Mm -hmm. How can I challenge them? They are not a prophet of God. Because this person, this woman in Tyatira, would claim to be a prophet, but she was actually practicing idolatry. So that the Lord likened her demeanor, her representation of what she stood for to Jezebel. Jezebel will worship Baal. Yeah. We'll read another scripture just to show you what the worship of Baal involved. Yeah? So we look at first king, no no, first not first king, Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 5. That same that that same uh, uh, scripture is also repeated in Jeremiah chapter 7, uh, verse 31. So we can look at Jeremiah 7, 31, and then look at uh, uh, Jeremiah 19, verse 5. So go to 7 first. Jeremiah 7, uh, verse 30, uh, 31. Yeah. Jeremiah 7, 31. Mm. They have built the high places of Topet in the valley of Ben Hinnom, Hinnom mm. to burn their sons and daughters in the fire. Sometimes I did not command something, something I did not command, nor did I, nor did it enter into my mind. Okay, can you read that again? Okay. Mm. They have built a high place of Topet in the valley of Ben Hinnom to build to burn their sons and daughters in the fire. Something I did not command, nor did I it enter my mind. Okay, so go to Jeremiah 19, verse 5. Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 5. 19 verse 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. They built the high places of Baal to burn their children in the fire as offering to Baal. Something I did not command or mention, nor did it enter my mind. Okay. So this is Jeremiah. Now the Lord says, you know, uh, giving Jeremiah prophecies because Jeremiah was called to 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 to, to usher the captivity of Babylon, which lasted seventy years. Okay, after Babylon, Israel did not have a king until the Lord Jesus came. So the prophet, the, the promise, the Messiah was what he was working working on for a king that would uh, liberate Israel from the the, the grip of um, 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 of Roman uh, tyranny. Yeah, and imperialism. Yeah. So back to what we we're saying before. So now you can see what the worship of Baal involved, mm. which Jezebel was the main pro proponent of. Mm. So Ahab knew very well what Jezebel stood for. Mm. That he still went ahead and married her, mm. knowing fully well what was going to happen. Mm. And he himself was involved in the worship of Baal. Mm -hmm. And this is what the worship of Baal involved. The building of high places. Mm -hmm. high, those high places were, they were obviously an abomination yeah. to the Lord. Yeah. was to show that you are giving uh, a certain preeminence, pre pre a certain reverence to the idol that you are worshipping. So that's what they built high places. Compa in comparison to the, the altar that the Lord had instructed to be built. This is what Satan does. Satan doesn't have a playbook. It doesn't have a manual. His template is the will of God. He only does what he has seen before. Yeah. There's another part that we're going to touch on in, in, in what the Lord mentions in, in this uh, report that is given about uh, the church in Titus. Okay. Everything that the Lord does 
He copies. Is the best counterfeiter yeah, there is. Absolutely. He doesn't have anything original mm. because he can't create life. Mm -hmm. Only God can create something new. Amen. No one else. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Because he's a source of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the worshipping of Baal involved sacrifice of children by burning them in the fire. That's what they were doing. That's what Jezebel was doing. Mm -hmm. And he brought that worship, enforced that worship in Israel. Hmm. And Jezebel also was the one who had concocted a scheme, a scheme to kill Naboth mm -hmm. in order to steal his, his inheritance, which was the vineyard, to give to her husband Ahab because Ahab wanted it. He coveted it. He offered to, to purchase it, but the man refused. So he was saddened by the fact that the man refused to sell that vineyard to him and went home sulling and, and, and sulking. So and his wife asked him, why won't you eat? And, and, and he tells a story to, to her and she said, don't worry, you know, rejoice, eat, whatever. I'm going to get that, that vineyard to, uh, to, to, to you. Mm -hmm. And she created a scheme to have Naboth killed in order to take the man's possession and give that to her husband which he did she did yeah. and the lord pronounced judgment for her hmm. and she was killed and she died she was pushed through the window and died um, against the wall hmm. and dog devoured it just had the lord hmm. had, had, had prophesied what happened because of her her heart yeah. she was callous cruel she killed the prophet of god hmm had them killed so she wanted to limit the worship of Yahweh completely out of Israel she was ruthless mm. evil in nature very cunning manipulative mm. with one intent to kill to exterminate to annihilate and such a person was in the church in Thyatira mm. so when the Lord Jesus the Lord God is a creator. He knows how to describe things mm. because he has the mind of a creator. Mm. He can tell you measurement. He can tell you colors. He can give you a summary, an elaboration mm. of things because he creates. Mm. So when he says to you that there's a person currently among you who claims to be a prophet but has the spirit of Jezebel, you need to pay attention to that. Because he's saying to you, that same Jezebel is actually at work mm -hmm. here. Because the spirit is thriving here. Yeah. And he says that he's doing exactly as Jezebel did before. Mm -hmm. So Jezebel did, on, did only worship Baal, she also worshiped Ashraq, which who is the, the original Sidonian uh, uh, idol. Yeah. And Ashrat enforces or requires sexual immorality mm. as part of the worship. Where there is open field sexual activities. And where you have male prostitute in a shrine. Mm. These are some devilish, demonic, grotesque things that the Lord abhor and hate vehemently. That were taking place. Mm. That Jezebel was enforcing, orchestrating. He placed a bounty on the, 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 the prophet of God, Elijah. He wanted to kill Elijah when Elijah, you know, uh, 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 judged all those 850 uh, false prophets and killed them all for, for, for the people of God to return. To, 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 to the worship of their God. It demonstrates an act of faith, uh, an act of the, the gift of faith there. When they perform that, that sign, the sacrifice being consumed by the fire of God. Mm -hmm. So, this is what we're talking about here. The Lord Jesus is pointing out that there is this spirit at work. Okay. One thing we also need to be clear mm -hmm. about is that. The, the report of the seven churches 
are not only confined to the seven churches. Mm -hmm. You can find this in our time. No. Every congregation, this is one of the depiction mm -hmm. of what you will encounter. Because the Lord is, is giving us, uh, you know, a guide. He's giving us uh, a type. Mm -hmm. He always says how the Lord works for us to, to be able to look at something and see the manifestation of what we see. Because when we see, we know, oh, okay, the Lord has already told us about this before. Mm -hmm. It's nothing new. Yeah. So He always warns us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the woman Jezebel. Uh, some some people have talked about it and they think mm -hmm. there's no Jezebel in our midst because there's mm -hmm. no one called Jezebel. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the Bible said to us, it's the spirit of Jezebel. Because today people don't even bear, give their kids that name. No, so no one in their right mind. Name. Yeah. No one died that name. So in the time of the apostles, no one was bearing their name. But it was liking it to the spirit. Mm. was liken it to the spirit of Jezebel the spirit of Jezebel that commits a lot of havoc back then in, in, in the Old Testament now uh, Ahab was already a bad king mm. already but it was not even as bad as Jezebel Jezebel encouraged him to do more evil, evil. Mm. encouraged him to do Things that were not pleasing to mm. God. To go that line. Mm. And the Bible says that woman, she calls herself a prophetess. Mm. A prophet. So which means she's the one who brings, she brings the words to the people. She's mm. the one that the people look up to. Mm. She's the one who, who, who say this is what the Lord God is Same. saying to the church. She calls herself a prophetess. That means the Lord has not called her. The Lord hasn't called her. So we should be careful. We should be careful. Especially when you run around, you're seeking for a place to worship. The Bible tells, says to us to test every spirit. Mm -hmm. Test every spirit. Amen. And ensure that is not a spirit of an antichrist. The spirit of Jesus is a spirit of antichrist. If you're not building, then you're scattering. If you're not from God, then you're against God. Then mm -hmm. you are an antichrist. Paul said to us that many antichrists will come, mm -hmm. that they are even here already. already. And they are here. And more are still coming. More are still coming. And what the Lord God was saying to the church in Tyatara was that they tolerated this hmm. so which means they knew that's right they knew they they, they were not ignorant of hmm. it they knew see but they tolerated, tolerated it. it they tolerate they bear with it they, well uh, well well it's not touching me oh well uh, at least it's still doing a little bit of good well yeah. you see my brethren we need to be very careful yeah when we serve the Lord, it is in totality. We don't serve the Lord 80% or 90% or 75% or 99.9%. No, it is 100% all of us. Amen. Our body, the Bible says the temple of the Holy Spirit, the entire body, including the nails. Mm. You can't say, okay, this I'm serving the Lord, you know, with all my body except my right mm. arm. I can do anything, you can never write No. Your right arm is part of your body, mm -hmm. entire person. Yeah. So when we come together as a body, that entire body needs to be serving the Lord. See? It is not a building. Our gathering is the body of Christ. And when we gather, we should not have a Jezebelic spirit at mm -hmm. work. Yeah. Yeah. Forget the fact that this person is supposedly my leader. Mm -hmm. They are not your leader. The Holy Spirit is your leader. Yeah. They're dominating you, mm. leading you to hell. Yeah. If someone is the position leadership, supposedly, 
It's not because they are there of their own accord. The Lord must have placed them there. But you have the responsibility as a child of God. You have the authority to test whether that person is truly who they say they are. And if you, you discover that they are not, do not allow them to get near you. Because they have nothing good to offer you. Mm -hmm. Jezebel offered three things. Mm -hmm. Death, cruelty, mm -hmm. and idolatry. Mm -hmm. She killed the prophets of God. Anyone, anything that was for God, anything that stood for righteousness, she went after it to exterminate it. Mm -hmm. She used force. She used brutality, violence. She spilled, she, 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 she uh, 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 spilled blood a lot and her blood also was splashed as she did to others she devoured so the Lord allowed dogs to devour her in plain street because of the way she went about executing what she stood for she was against the Lord God she was against the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ that spirit was in Saitiba. And the person and agent was in that place, purporting this, yeah. propagating this, rampantly. And what the Lord was really angry about was the fact that she was luring God's people, those who were godly, mm. into it, enticing them with sexual immorality. Offering them things that were, were, were sacrificed to idols. So they were participating in the worship that was forbidden. We are, God's, we are, we are of, of, of the righteous of God. The righteous of God. We should not be partaking in the tables of, of demons. Mm -hmm. Now Paul admonishes that if somebody says to you, this food has been offered to, to an idol. For conscience sake, do not eat it. Mm -hmm. But it says that not an idol or, or anything has any power over us because all things are ours. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of those that may be of weak, of a weak mind, we should not, uh, you know, they should not be seen going into those places. Because the only reason we go into those places is for you to propagate the gospel. Mm -hmm. It's so that the gospel, the, the light of the gospel that you carry will shine there for those who are involving those things will see that light and want to come to your side where salvation is but we must not entertain a different spirit in our midst because light and darkness do not mix darkness has no part the bible tells that when light shines darkness does not comprehend it uh, by all means, uh, we can tell that it's not like the Lord is saying to us not to be um, patient with people, not to, to 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 be impatient or not to tolerate, or you know, it's not that's not what he's saying to us, because he himself he allowed what Jezebel was doing to carry on. He allowed what was happening in the church to carry on and he gave Jezebel time to repent. But what he has against us as believers, we can be patient with everything, but anything that has to do against the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is saying to us not to tolerate it. If someone is... Um, if someone is uh, um, doing something or that you know is not pleasing to God, maybe they, they, they're living in sin, you, you preach to them and you know. If you notice the spirit of Jezebel at work in the congregation, you need to speak up and say to them. And if you don't have the opportunity, because the way people do, the way churches are today, People are not given the opportunity. In every aspect that you can speak up, speak. And if you're not allowed or given the chance, 
don't stay there say you are you don't stand for this because if you are there it means you're standing for it you are with them you're taking a stand with them it says to us not to tolerate not to tolerate this spirit of jezebel amen amen but the lord said that i have given her time to repent mm -hmm. of her morality but she's unwilling you see what the lord is saying that it's not um has when you say i have this i have against you it's, it's not speaking to one person mm -hmm. it's speaking to the body Amen. yeah so when believers will come together we are the body of christ and this is what the lord is addressing together as a body mm -hmm. we know there's something wrong and we're not addressing it yeah. and we have the authority the church is the the ground and pillar of the truth Hallelujah. Yeah. We have the power mm. to make the changes in our environment mm. in accordance with the will of God. We don't act as independent agents. Mm. We are guided by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, they are the led by the Spirit. Yeah, are the sons of God. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The Word of God is our guide, is our yeah. manual, is our life source. Mm. Because it's the Word of God. Okay? So let's just say the Word I speak, they are, they are spirit, their and spirit and they are and the life. life. So the Lord said, I will cast her, mm. not you for tolerating, mm. no, her for her a crime, for mm. her a sins, for her profanity. Mm. So I will cast her on the bed of suffering mm. and I will make those who commit adultery with her mm. suffer intensely. Mm. That's if they do not repent. Mm -hmm. okay? Because unless they repent of unless their ways, yeah. Yeah? I will strike her children dead. The Lord said, I will kill her children. Yeah. Because the Lord did the same with the, the Jezebel, the original Jezebel. Mm. He killed all her children. Mm. Ahab had, had up to over 70 children. 70 children. <laughs> all of them were killed. The, his entire line was wiped out. And then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Yeah. So, the deeds that we're going to be repaid with, or for, should be the ones that the Lord has given us to do. The mm. work of righteousness. Amen. That when we commit those works, they bring glory to the Lord. Mm. And there are rewards for us to receive. But if we wonder why, we follow these strange spirits, mm. these demonic activities. They tend to camouflage in all sorts of uh, schemes. Mm. But we should be able to tell because we have the Spirit of God in us. Amen. If somebody claims to be a prophet and they're offering you supposedly a bar of soap yeah. or a little bottle of oil mm. or water going right on your forehead mm. or, or drink this or do this before you go to bed. This under your pillow. Mm. Those are works of darkness. Yeah. We don't have such, you know, ob 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 observances in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. No. They don't belong to the doctrine of Christ. Mm. Nowhere. So you should know. Oh, because they are a prophet. If they tell me to do this, I must go and do it. No. Test the spirit. Check to see if it is, it is true. It is in the word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, do I, this does not seem right. You're a child of God. You'll have a check in your spirit if yeah. something is not right. Listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Do not just walk in like a blind. You're not, you're not blind. You have eyes to see, eyes of the Spirit. Use them. So now, don't apologize. Don't, don't tolerate. Don't accept anything. Challenge. Really do. Challenge. Because yeah. it's a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. And you must stay on the side of life all the time and that life has been given to you because it was purchased yeah. with a very very high price so we can't take it lightly you know the bible says to us our jesus they died horrible horrible death mm. and they died and the bible is saying to us here that jezebel herself so those the, the prophet who exhibit the spirit of jezebel mm -hmm. and our children so those who are following mm -hmm. 
are doctrines, mm -hmm. those who are following our teachings, mm -hmm. those who are following our leading, the Lord God is saying that he will destroy Hold them. On. He will destroy them. Today, a lot of people, a lot of us, we are afraid of death. Afraid of death. But what we should be afraid of is the second death. Amen. Is the second death. Because you don't have control over the death or, or the first death. You don't have control over when you were born. Just like over death as well. But you have control over what happens to you at the second death. You can avoid it. Mm. Come, being already in, not that you are already in you Christ point. Jesus, yeah. you can avoid that from happening to you. Mm. Because the second death is the death that you will never come out from. Mm. Where the, the devil also, death itself, will be thrown. Mm. The Bible mm. says we're thrown into the lake of fire. Mm. That is the second death. Death himself that you are afraid of in this killed. life mm. will be killed and mm. thrown there. Mm. So you imagine how terrible and horrible that place will be. Mm. So you can avoid that. The Bible says all you need to do not to tolerate mm. this spirit of Jezebel yeah. that has come that is luring people away right. with the word, twisting the word of God, and 